1 Corinthians 15 and 30 says, Do not be deceived by a company ruins with morals. I mean, that scripture is straight up without explaining. What this scripture means is that every day we allow our friends to come into our lives, people who was it there, but they just reach and we allow them to influence us to do bad. But the good friends that was there, they was doing us good. Now that we let the bad friends come, we let the bad friends influence us to push them away and cause us to sin. When the good people was there, we, we didn't want them. Because far as they're concerned, they didn't want, they, they, they didn't want us. They, as far as they're concerned, they be thinking in our head, they didn't want us to buy. Because they want us to do good. But if we take the time to think, and we notice now that the five friends ain't making no sense. Amen. Proverbs 27 and 17 says, Iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. What this means is that if a good man comes and we allow him to teach us good, he will strengthen us to do better in life. But if a bad one comes, he would deceive us and tell us to do all sorts of things. He, he could even tell you to run the red light. I know plenty of us that run the red light like inside your house. <laughs> Proverbs 13 and 26. Whoever walks with the wise, with the wise becomes wise. But the compassion of fools will suffer harm. This means if you walk with a wise man, you'll be wise. So if we need to do church, we need to start walking with wise people. Yes. Amen. We need to start calling Pastor Curry. Encourage him. Pray for him. Amen. 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 a lot of hard times and it causes us to lose faith. 
And when we lose weight, it gives the enemy, it gives the enemy a, a nice little small pathway to come in and causes us to drift away. So what fasting would do, it would boost our faith and it would cause us to be more stable, yeah. like a tree. If a tree ain't stable in the ground, it can break. Yeah. So what fasting would cause us to do, it would cause us to overcome the enemy and be steadfast and strong in the roots of God. Yeah. Amen. 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 So as I come to a close, church, all I can tell you is we need to learn how to be steadfast, we need to pray more, fast more, read the word more. Me, myself, I need to read more, more, read the word more. I need to learn discipline. Amen. We need to let our flesh die and our spirit mind increase. Amen. Because if we don't let our spirit increase, we just we just can be there because we ain't making no sense. If God ain't in our lives, we'll be in the circle. Yeah, that's true. We need to learn to love and show God more appreciation. Amen. Take a bit like if you get a gift for the man and yeah, if you get a game now, we can be happy, happy, happy. That's why we can play that game. We have to think of God as a game. Play it continually, just like you play that game, pray. Talk to God more continually. Spend time with Him. Because I show when I go home, I can't go play games. I show sure that. So, what we need to do is pray and be steadfast and focus on God. Amen. Amen. Time for the lead, time for God to give you all this right now. I lost. Amen. Amen.